Today marks six months since the horrific attacks of October 7th, in which Hamas terrorists murdered, mutilated, raped, tortured, and kidnapped innocent Israelis, men, women, and children, from their homes on a Jewish holiday. Since then, the IDF has fought a just war against these savage terrorists backed by the Islamic Republic of Iran. And while the world initially felt sympathy for Israel, within days there were protests against Israel supporting the October 7th attacks. The sympathy for Israel's war has waned, even among some of our allies. But we know that this war is not a war for territory or for petty politics. It's a battle for the very soul of civilization. Israel is leading the world in the fight against Islamist terrorism, which seeks to eliminate the entire West. We do this because we cannot rely on anyone but ourselves for our protection. We do this because it is moral. We do this so that hopefully you, in the West, never have to. We do this because the values of democracy, freedom of religion, freedom of speech are worth protecting. 1,800 deaths, 253 hostages, 604 soldiers, 9,100 rockets from Gaza, 3,100 rockets from Lebanon, and 12,000 terrorists killed. We are all war-weary. This is not a war we wanted or started, but it is a war that must be fought to the end. Today, my message is this. If you won't stand with Israel, then at least get out of our way. We don't need your permission to defend our right to exist, and we will not stop until all of our hostages are home and until Hamas is defeated.